All right, we're going to watch Aiden's backstroke here. We're going to watch it underwater. Um, along with the uh, videos that we're doing here, do make sure you also reference back to the notes that Lynette and I have come up with. Uh, we both took some time to watch your videos and different pointers that we kind of see that we'd like to see you working on. Um, you know, and we love having you in, in JV and such a strong swimmer. And obviously, backstroke is, if it's not one of your favorite strokes, it's definitely one of your best strokes. I mean, your backstroke looks amazing. Um, nice dolphin kicks there. But we, we like a lot of stuff that we've seen from you. So, what we want to do is just kind of touch on a couple things we'd like to see you work on a little bit more. And so, let's start this over here and slow it down. Um, as we start into the stroke, the very first thing we're going to talk about is that hand entry. You do a good job entering with that pinky. That arm is a little bit more bent than we want to see right as you enter. Make sure you keep that arm a little bit straighter. Um, this hand here could be up a little bit higher. You almost want to have as, as your left hand, which is this one, is exiting. That's when this hand should be entering. So you got to get that left hand up just a little bit quicker. It's all about tempo and speed. Now with your elbow bent here, that's really strong and it looks like you're throwing good water towards your feet. Uh, that's a good catch right there, Aiden. Very nice job. You kind of see here, right here that you enter, look at how bent that wrist is, okay? So you've got your wrist bent and if you're imagining above water, and I'm assuming we'll see the same above water, but as you're imagining above water with your wrist bent, you're not really grabbing that water right away. What you want to make sure you're doing is always thumbs out, pinkies in, and then as you enter, you're going to press down about six, eight inches, and then you're going to start to catch out to that side. Uh, so here you're just kind of trying to scoop your arm instead of actually catching good water. Right here, you all of a sudden get into that good stroke. So look right here. So you've got your wrist bent, wrist bent, wrist bent, then all of a sudden, boom, you open up your wrist, and right here, you're in the perfect position. Okay, so while this position here is fantastic, it took you probably a good half a second to a second to get to the right position. So if you just get that hand entry better in the very beginning, uh, that position is perfect. You can see that you really roll your shoulders really well as well. We like that. Uh, one thing that we both noticed is your kick. And so we're going to kind of slow up this kick here. And we just want you to look at that kick as you go through. You kind of see that you're really not making a whole lot of white water on that. Um, when you're kicking, when, you, when you're kicking with your backstroke, you got to make sure that you have some white water going on. Okay, and you can kind of see every other kick is a little bit more on that right side than on that left. So just make sure you get your feet up a little bit more as we get through. Um, rewind it just a little bit here. We're having all right. Here we go. So you kind of see on that kick, you can see that that left leg is staying pretty much below the water. Your right leg, like every third or fourth kick, breaks a little bit of surface. So do make sure you keep working on getting that kick a little bit, a little bit higher. And I think one of the things you can do if you lay your head back a little more, and again we'll see that above water. But if you get that head laid back a little more, you're going to see those feet come up a lot easier. Now, as we go into our turn, you can see right away that you've got this palm already pointed down, which is the exact position you want to have that palm. So, nice job. Your left hand didn't really get palmed down. You can kind of see that it stayed up the entire time. So, while you had this palm right here down, make sure that stays down as you throw that water towards your face. You kind of see your hand start to point upwards as you're halfway through. Okay, this position here is good, your arm position here is good, but your hand position needs to be pointed this way, still like you're trying to throw water towards your face, okay? As you hit that wall with those feet, this streamline, you've got your arms locked so well. Head position looks good, you're going to get a good push off that wall, Aiden, that's fantastic. As we come off the wall... Sorry about that. As we come off the wall here, okay, you want to hold that streamline just a little bit longer. You kind of see as you start to push off that wall, your legs kind of drift right away. Let's get those feet back on that wall. 
So right here, when you start to push off that wall, right, right away you start kicking. So you break your body out of that streamline. You want to make sure you hold that streamline for a good second, second and a half, then start those dolphin kicks. Good one, two, three, four dolphin kicks, five. So that was five dolphin kicks. Right here is where the flags are. So you're past the flags by about half a body length. That's good. Uh, we'd like to see you start that breakout just a little bit earlier. Let's scroll back just as tad. You can see that your hands are still streamlined. Right here, your head's just starting to break that surface. Your hands are really just barely starting to break. So you really want to be more in this position here, down here, when you start that first stroke. That So by the time you get all the way up to here, that first stroke, you're swimming right away. You don't want to be waiting to break out. And again, that was probably a good view to see where how low your hips are. Let me rewind that a little bit here. As we start, you can see the body position you're in right here. And a lot of that is more due to the fact of your head, probably. So your hips are here and then here. And really, you want to be straight on top of that water. Okay? So let's get a little higher in that water, and I think we'll be perfect. Um, just a couple of little things, Aiden. Man, your backstroke's amazing. Uh, we, we think it's great. So keep it up.